everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. I'm the OVR guy and as you can see we have here a new package. As always we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time, let me grab the Swiss knife, here is the Swiss knife and we're going to unpackage it. Well boys and girls, especially the girls, what we have here is the Subo D30 8-bit game console. This is another version of the classic retro Famicom which so many of you grew up in the 80s got to play with. The package included the game console itself, it is made from plastic and very light, you can see it offers a power button to turn it on and off, a reset button to reset games if the game console gets stuck or if you want to go back to the main menu, and this blue cover that when removed it will reveal the game cartridge slot. At the front of the console you will see two ports for the game controllers, along with the console you get two wired controllers each one has a d-pad, start and select buttons and four control buttons. The controllers are a bit light and they feel like cheap plastic but after playing with them for a while I believe that most of you will get used to playing with them. Keep in mind that the controllers cables are very short so it might be a bit annoying. Another thing that is a bit annoying is that the game console is missing an additional port for an external gun that is useful for games such as Duck Hunt. So I guess that the only solution for that is if you are able somehow to connect the external gun instead of one of the controllers. But I currently don't have a gun to test with this console so I'm not able to confirm that. At the back of the console you will see four sockets. This is for the electricity in which goes the Chinese power adapter that comes along with the console. The supplied power adapter will probably require you to get a original converter, since in my case it wasn't supplied by the seller. Next to the DC socket you can see yellow socket for video output and white and red sockets for audio output. You can connect into them the AV cable that is supplied with the console but please note it has only two connectors from each side, the yellow and the white. If you want you can replace it with an AV cable that has two audio connectors which are usually white for the left speakers and red for the right speakers. The package also included the user manual in Chinese which doesn't mean a thing to me. Some sellers offer the Subo D30 with the game cartridge while others don't but it's not a big issue to find game cartridges for this console. I believe many of you will be glad to learn that the Subo D30 will work with the old Famicom game cartridges, so I guess that if you save them somewhere, you can use them and relive those old childhood memories. In previous video reviews of other game consoles I reviewed, I was asked by some of my viewers to open the game console and show you how it looks like from the inside. So this is how the guts of the Subo D30 looks like. Impressive, huh? Since I also reviewed in the past the Subo D99 and other similar old school 8-bit game consoles, so my advice to you is to get the best deal that you can get and just notice if the bundle includes original adapter for the power adapter and additional game cartridges. 
If you plug the Subo D30 to your TV and you see only black and white, I advise you also to get a PAL to NTNC converter since it's probably related to the region that you're using it. Well boys and girls, especially the girls, this was my video review about the Subo D30 8-bit game console. For further information about this item, please check the description to the video. And if you still have any questions about it, please comment on this video and I will do my best to come up with an answer. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel ZooVR Fashion, OVR Kids and of course this channel Original Video Reviews. And there's also the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account and the Instagram account. So there are plenty ways for you to follow Original Video Reviews. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.